In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to do the Dropbox. And the Dropbox is obviously a variation on the box. So if you don't know the box, go learn it and then come back. Now the Dropbox is slightly different because the bottom ball follows a different trajectory. The rest of the pattern is pretty much exactly the same. But the bottom ball, instead of being thrown back out of your hands before the vertical ball comes down, is thrown over the vertical balls as they drop, which is why it's called the Dropbox. So the movement here is slightly different. Whereas in the box, you would go like this. In the drop box, you would go like this. The way this is done is kind of tricky. The way I do it is as the horizontal ball is thrown into my hand after I've done the vertical throw, I move the horizontal ball over to the side of my hand. So like my middle finger, my index finger, and my thumb hold the ball. There's this open space right here. Now as this vertical ball is coming up, I move my hand out to the side, getting ready to dash across and do like a shuffle throw. And as this ball starts to come down, you wait for the exact right moment, and once it's in that sweet spot, you're going to throw this ball down to your other hand and kind of scoop under this ball. Your hand stays pretty much facing palm up the whole time, so it's not really a claw grab or anything like that. It's this. You kind of scoop under the ball that's falling down. And remember to move your hand out to the side so you have enough force to move down and smack into the other hand. The ball that's thrown across is almost going downwards, if not downwards, at least very horizontally. You don't want to be tossing it upwards. That will make you lose power, the pattern will move too slowly, and you won't be able to do it. This is bad. You want to go down, down. So practice this on both sides. You can do as I'm doing, have two balls in your hand, throw one of them upwards, perfectly vertically, don't do it any left or right, make sure it's nice and straight. Move your hand out immediately afterwards, and smash down on the other side. When you put it all together, you end up with the drop box. Now you can practice like one iteration of this at a time if you want. Hold two in one hand, one in the other hand. You're going to throw up the first of the two, and then go across, and then stop. Go across, and then stop. Go across, and stop. And that'll help you practice just one at a time, the iterations. In the final pattern, if you start feeling weak on your cross throws, it's probably because you're not waiting long enough, you're not moving your hand out far enough, or you're not throwing strongly enough downwards and across. If you start feeling weak, you might start going like that, and then it goes too slow, and you end up doing a reverse cascade. It just gets ugly. So make sure to concentrate on those nice, strong, horizontal shuffle throws. And that's the Dropbox.